Okay, uh, Jimmy uh, is one of the top uh, distributors in Lavelle, and uh, I'm really excited. Uh, this is Max Steingart, and uh, uh, Jimmy Murphy is uh, has asked me to do a, a training for his uh, his team on social media, and uh, I'm really happy to do it. Um, so here we are, Jimmy. How uh, how has social media impacted you? Well, it is, you know, it, it's basically um, how I do virtually all my business uh, and has been for a while. Uh, often going off of uh, the uh, ideas that I've learned from you. And uh, it, it has uh, really transformed the way that I do business and, and uh, it continues to do so, um, especially under your tutelage. You are the best going. Huh. Well, thank you. I'm going to I'm going to bring up uh, your page so everybody can see. Um, here we go. It's all about lifestyle. It's all about, you know, putting yourself uh, putting yourself out there. And uh, um, why don't we just, you know, jump right into this. I'm going to record this and uh, You'll be able to make it available to your team members. The, the the one thing I can say, Jimmy, is it's changing all the time. In fact, uh, today, LinkedIn just shut out uh, a new announcement about their new t terms of service. They've uh, changed. I shouldn't say they've changed the rules, but they've really um, um, refined and clearly demonstrated to you know all of the users what you can do and what you can't do. And just before I brought your page up, I, I did a random search. Let's see if it'll still come up. Because you can search for people that you know. And then, of course, you can search and connect with people that you don't know. And when it comes to searching for people, you, I'm just going to do it again. I was looking for people who... People who live, of course, it helps if you spell it right. <laughs> People who live in San Francisco. I mean, pick a city, pick a country, and you literally have unlimited access of people to talk to. You scroll down here and you could look at the folks, you could identify the people by the picture, by the contents of the page, but it starts with the picture. You can you could identify a person's agenda, you could figure out why they're there, what they're there for, and and there's virtually no shortage of people that you can talk to. You know what you know what they do even before you reach out and start a conversation. So whether it's people who live in San Francisco or who live in, um, let's go San Diego. Max, I'm getting messages from people saying they're having trouble uh, logging in. <clears throat> okay. Um, let, let me do this. Let me, let me, um, Let me give you a registration link that um, that you can use. Da, 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 da.
Whoops. I'll shoot you over a link that You get it? And uh, we can. Uh... You can shoot that over to some folks. Um... Perfect. Thank you. Okay. And uh, since I'm going to record this, why don't I just, um, you know, get started and uh, um, we can. Answer. We'll have time to answer questions at the end. I uh, hear they're they're starting to come now. So let's just wait another another minute or two. Um, okay, that that sounds good. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things, Jimmy. I mean, I I've the the overall process hasn't changed in uh, in twenty years, uh, dating back to America Online. It, it, it's never been faster, it, it's never been easier to uh, connect with someone, have a conversation with someone uh, through social media. And of course, back then, it wasn't called social media. It was just America Online. And now today, people are uh, engaging in activity that the overall activity of connecting with someone uh, Having a conversation via text, and you know that process hasn't changed. What has changed is the number of people who are available to talk to. What has changed is the amount of information you have about the other person. So the whole process becomes magnified the communication level becomes amplified because you know more about people than if you were hanging out at the mall and you started talking to a stranger. So the whole idea is talk to people, but before you talk to them, if you knew in advance what a person did, if you knew in advance the agenda, the motivation behind their presence on a social network, it changes the dynamics of the whole thing. It, it literally becomes a very, very simple, easy process to do. And then it's all about conversation. So um, when we look at all of the things that are being taught on social media, there are some basic constants that never change. They haven't changed in 20 years. They will never change. Uh, the access that you have to people, the ability for you to talk to people has changed. It's, it's gotten better. So when it comes right down to it, while there are many ways to talk to people and, and try to build your network marketing business, the fast and easy way to build your Lavelle business on Facebook and on LinkedIn is what I'm about uh, you know, to share with you. Jimmy, you're living proof. And there are other folks as well that once they get this, they're going to be unstoppable. You're, now, for those of you who are here for the first time, you're about to see what everybody is calling the next evolution of social media lead generation for network marketing professionals. It's going to revolutionize how you cost effectively generate quality leads. And the truth is that leads are free. You don't have to pay for them. You don't have to spend money on marketing and advertising and AdWords or pay-per-click or traffic, they're free. You can connect with ideal prospects at will, build personal relationships with total strangers instantly, and successfully build a global and a profitable home business. What I'm about to show you is going to blow you away. So if you want a lead generation methodology that anyone can do that's affordable, Hey, leads are, leads are free. That is fun and easy. That's global and that really works. And when I say it really works, it works fast. This is it. Over the last 20, over the last 10 years, 
Because of the internet, network marketing has gone through a radical transformation. It's changing every day, and it's not necessarily in a good way either. Nowadays, everyone's got a system, lead capture pages, autoresponders, contact managers, and online presentations, etc. But for most people, it's simply not working for them. What used to work in building a network marketing business no longer does. The three challenges facing every network marketer that's trying to build the business. One, how can I cost effectively generate high quality leads of qualified prospects who are truly interested in a home business opportunity? Two, how can I quickly connect with them through social media? Three, how can I build a personal relationship with them so they get involved in my network marketing business? Well, I'm gonna show you how. The fastest growing top earners in network marketing and all of the big affiliate marketers today will tell you they owe their success to social networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. They have teams of people enrolling their best new customers and reps. They're doing it in less than an hour a day and the new recruits are doing the same thing within a few days of joining their business. But no one's gonna tell you how they're doing it unless you're on their team. So the good news for all of you is that uh, you have a great leader and he gets it. And he's come to me because uh, I'm, I've taught Jimmy and I'm happy to teach all of you and share with you things that you can do that will produce immediate results. And the best part about it is it duplicates very, very quickly. I'm going to show you how they're doing it, and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. So I, first and foremost, I want you to think mobile because 80% of what you want to do can be conducted on a mobile phone. 20% the searching aspects of social media have to be done on a desktop or a laptop. You can't do it on a tablet because the applications for these social networks don't work on a tablet. I want you to think texting because texting is the way you talk to people on a social network. And I want you to think big because you can build your business anywhere Lavelle does business. You can build your business anywhere Lavelle is planning to do business. I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to instantly connect with perfect prospects, communicate with them at will, and close a sale in less than an hour a day. Now, Facebook is the world's largest social networking site with 1.94 billion users. Everybody's talking about now, now everybody's starting to get into the 2 billion users on Facebook. And it's not going to be long before they are at 2 billion users. The interesting thing, however, is that 93% of them are mobile. Next, we go over to LinkedIn, which is the world's largest professional networking site. You have 500 million registered professionals in over 200 countries and 58% of them are mobile. So what does that mean? Well, with access to all of these people and the ability to communicate with people anywhere in the world from your phone, what you have to be able to do is you have to be able to filter down through all of these people and connect with, identify the people who clearly, clearly would be interested in what you're doing. And so I love using this example. Finding the right people to talk to on either of these sites is as easy as reaching into that bowl of candy and pulling out a green M&M. If I told you that the green M&Ms in that bowl were people who were looking for business opportunity, would get into your business and literally rise to the level, next level, in 30 days in your business, how would that make you feel? Now, there are five reasons people create profile pages on a social network. They're there to date. They're there to make friends or connect with their existing friends. They're there to network with people they know or with people they'd like to know. They're there to maintain relationships or create new ones. And they're there to sell. It's easy to clearly identify the people you want to talk to by their online agenda and their daily activity. So imagine being able to scroll down a list of people who are, let's say, fitness instructors and be able to pick out the people that are looking for business as easily as you could reach into that bowl of candy and pull out a green M&M. Easy to identify the happy network marketers or the people, the fitness instructors that would love to be happy network marketers. Those are the blue M&Ms. Customers, red M&Ms. Unhappy network marketers are the purple. 
and affiliate or internet marketers who are not making any money are the brown M&Ms. Now, how many times a day can you reach into that bowl, pull out as many M&Ms as you want? The answer is as many times a day as you want. There are no limits. Facebook and LinkedIn are big bowls of candy. They are virtual gold mines of prospects that you could reach into any time from any place. And what I'm going to share with you are some of the latest changes and features that have been added to Facebook in the last 30 days that literally make LinkedIn a better place to prospect than Facebook. So if you know in advance that someone's a perfect prospect for what you sell and you develop a relationship with them before you talk about your business, you're going to sell to more people. Connecting with the right people is as easy as picking that green M&M from the bowl. Simply remember through this entire process to treat other people on any social network, not just Facebook and LinkedIn, like you'd like to be treated. Today, millions of people are making money on these social networks and so can you. To be successful, all you have to do is connect with the right people who need or want what you're selling and talk to them. You can create an avalanche of new business on these social networks with your phone right now. Have people lined up to talk to you about your business at will, on demand. And it's easier than most people realize. There's a lot of great information available to you out there that can produce results for you on social networks over time. But what I'm going to show you is faster, it's easier to do, and it produces immediate results. Simply follow the four-step formula I'm about to share with you, and it will fill your sales funnel with eager prospects who are ready to buy from you. You know, they say it's not what works in network marketing, it's what duplicates. So what we're going to share with you will have you bringing people into your business on Monday. And on Wednesday, they're bringing in their friends. And on Friday, they're bringing in their friends. And when your new recruits experience immediate success, they get excited and they stay in your business. So let's jump into these Facebook changes and LinkedIn changes because they're going to have a dramatic impact on the way you do your business. So I've got a brand new roadmap for everyone based on all of these latest changes and features. People always ask me, why Facebook and why LinkedIn? What about, what about Pinterest? What about Instagram? What about all these other hot social networks? They're missing something. See, there are three things that make a social network great for prospecting and recruiting. Number one, the profiles of users contain information that helps you identify a good prospect in advance of contacting them. So you need a profile. Two, you need a method of contacting and communicating with other users on the network, preferably live chat or private messaging. And three, a searching feature that enables you to filter through the entire population of users for prospecting and recruiting. Instagram doesn't have it. Pinterest doesn't have it. Facebook has it, but you take those 1.94 billion people, and if we take the kids out, take the teenagers out, take the parents just keeping track of their kids, take out the reluctant socializers, the people that are not interested in connecting with people they don't know, take out the missing in action socializers, they've given up their Facebook page. A couple of years ago, they jumped on Facebook, they tried to make money, they heard people are making money on Facebook. Well, they didn't, so they left and that their page hasn't been seen any activity for a couple of years. Take out the bogus profiles. There's, according to CNN, there's 88 million bogus profiles on, social, on Facebook. Delete the people looking for dates, love, and soulmates, and that leaves you roughly 850 million people. Again, you have free access. Now, LinkedIn, 500 million people that he will grow to 600 million people in the next two years. I think they're going to do it in the next 12 months. Facebook and LinkedIn users are chatting with each other every day from their desktops, laptops, iPads, iPhones, and smartphones. Chatting is exactly like talking and it's got benefits. It's easier. It's more convenient. It's totally stress-free. And it's so much fun that they can actually be addicting to talk to people this way. You can connect with someone you know or with a complete stranger within minutes of logging into your account and start talking with them. And if you don't have a page on either site or beginning from scratch, 
you can begin connecting with perfect prospects within minutes of creating a profile page and start talking to anyone. Live chatting is exactly like talking with someone. It can produce instant results and an immediate sale when you're talking to the right people. Rhonda Collier is someone I started working with about five years ago. When we started working, she was at 150 k a year. Three years later, she was up to 750 Today, she's a million dollar earner in her business. And what did it for her was the live chat feature because she could talk to people instantly. A week ago, Bobby Tyler and I were doing a private session. We tweaked this page a little bit and we added the description entrepreneur. And he sells to the first three friends that contacted him his product. He posted this. I, after calling myself an entrepreneur on my profile, I had three old friends call my brother to get my phone number. They all called me wanting to know what I was doing, so I sold all three products. Then what he does is he posts that on his timeline page, had 27 people comment on it, 24 people liked it, and he sold eight more people products. People see what you do, they get curious and they want to talk to you. Andrea can get somebody talking about her business. She signed somebody up in an hour and 15 minutes. Now, I'm not showing you these examples because I'm trying to impress you. I'm showing you these examples because I want to impress upon you what you can be doing, what members of your team can be doing. The whole process happens fast, fast. She makes a post, somebody sent her a friend request, she started to chat, they ended up talking on the telephone from 3.45 to 5 o'clock. That's all, that's all it took. Mark is in New Zealand. This formula will have you connecting with perfect prospects and talking about your business at will. While he was on a webinar, he saw somebody like something that he posted, he sent him a message and made a sale. He makes a post, I'm ready to help five more people retire early, got several replies, sign up three people in one afternoon. Marissa was building her Maluka business. Doesn't matter what business you're in. She enrolled two people in her business. And I mean, this was the first day. And by the end of our boot camp, she had 13 new recruits over a 10 day period of time. Leanne, right after boot camp, she went from 187 friends to 300, qualified six people in two days, signed up two in one day. It's all about conversation. Sonny, back in our February boot camp, his first week, got three enrollments. And then he calls me up, he says, Max, he says, I've only got 10 hours a day. I mean, I've only got 10 hours a week to do this. And two of the people that I signed up are business builders and they're taking up all my time. I do not have the time to prospect and recruit. And I said, Sonny, you got to find more time. Spend less time in the bathroom. Spend less time watching television. Spend less time with your kids if you have to. A little less time. You need another hour. So he finds that other hour and by the end of the first week, he's got four business builders he's working with. Now he's in a company, their, their basic um, model are home parties. Home parties. And so once you understand how this process works, he sends me this. Last Saturday, I had a home party in Vegas for a new builder in my business. I'm in Minnesota. We did the entire home party online. They had eight people attend and all that are in my business. Seven want to be business builders. By the end of the second week, he had a group of 30 people excited about building his business on Facebook. Everybody, everybody wants to make money on Facebook because it's easy. Charlie makes a post. Blown away that 23 year olds are making 5,400 hours a week in my company. He gets 26 people to respond, get seven appointments in one sale. The person he sold to was somebody he knew from college. So don't sell yourself short. There are a lot of people out there that you know that would love to know what you're doing. At the beginning of the year, Sheila, two years ago, could barely send email. By May, she's signing up multiples in one day. She signed up three people in one day. A couple of days later, she's got, I met, I just signed up a woman I met an hour ago and I have to call the other two who are responding to her posts. And finally, by July, she landed her first big fish. A big fish is somebody that's very successful in your business, 
has a large following and is making a lot of money. And there are a lot of big fish out there that would love to be in your business. Dan Parks, while he went through boot camp, sponsored three people in one week. And he, every year he comes back for another boot camp. He came back last year. He said, I already signed up two leaders in my business and my team has increased from 25 to 2,800 in the last 45 days. So he's added 300 people to his business in 45 days. Irene Burns got it figured. She makes a post and every time she makes a post, she signs somebody up in the business. My formula is behind the success of many of the top earners in every network marketing company. Four C's equal big bucks. Create a page, connect with people, communicate with them, close them. Four C's. Step one, create your page. Fill in the blanks. Fill in every section. Tell your story, not the company's story, and project the real you. Connect. Connect with people. First, you're going to connect with the people you know. Then you're going to connect with the friends of your friends. And then finally, you're going to connect with the strangers you want to know. Now, once you're connected, it's all about communication. Communicate with people at will. Talk to them at your convenience. Identify perfect prospects by the way they answer some simple questions. Qualify them and identify their needs. Discover their problems. And the people that need your products, the people that are looking for an opportunity, are the people that you're going to close and bring into your business. Talk to five to ten people every day. Use your company tools to present your business. Make a sale every day. And now, to take your business to the next level, help your new recruits to duplicate the process. And folks, it's fast. After they've answered your first question and you know what they do, simply follow the additional questions provided in the Social Network and Scripts book to qualify them as a customer, serious business builder, or a referral source. The best part about all this is it's not technical. It's not complicated. All you need is a free, simple profile page to be connecting with perfect prospects for your business in seconds and begin a conversation. To succeed in your business, Jimmy will tell you, you want to be successful, you got to talk to five people about your business every day. You can do that on Facebook and LinkedIn in less than an hour. Thanks to mobility, if you want to be wildly successful, you must talk to 10 people about your business every day. You can do that in less than an hour. With mobile applications, you can talk with perfect prospects where you are, where they are, and whenever you want. Texting or chatting, it's the fastest way to talk to more people, increase sales, and eliminate rejection. And the truth is, with so many choices of people to talk to, there are no excuses why you can't text or chat with perfect prospects every day. When you apply simple attraction marketing principles to your online activity, you can be making sales immediately. I'm just going to go through a couple more. Uh, Al enrolled three people his first week. Three people. One business builder, two customers. Earl, a year ago, personally enrolled 42 people who duplicated to a team of 913 people in one year. And Terry signs up seven new recruits in four days. The people you want to talk to on any social network fall into one of three categories. One, they're the people you're actually connected to and you really know them. Two, they're the people you're connected to, but you don't know them at all. You've never talked to them. And finally, there's everybody else. There are people you want to talk to in each group and there are people you want to avoid in each group and the sooner you learn how to tell the difference, the better. First week, Stephen brings in someone, she brings in 12 of her friends and by the end of the month, he's making multiple sales. The key to success in your business on any social network is to first realize that a certain percentage of the people on them are predisposed, eager, ready, and willing to talk to you, buy your products, or get into business with you. Instead of wasting time reaching out to a bunch of people who will never buy your products, there are simple ways to find and perfect ways and means of attracting the people who want to buy your products before they're contacted by your competitors and they buy from them instead. Believe me, your competitors are all over social media. I want to introduce you to something called the law of numbers. In sales and marketing, it's a numbers game. When you first begin prospecting and recruiting and marketing on Facebook or LinkedIn or anywhere, you must qualify your prospects in order to find the people open to listening and responding to your message or opportunity. Well, 
You have capture pages. You have all kinds of elaborate systems. All you have to do is select your own products. Qualify them with questions and close the sale. And then your new distributor duplicates the process within 24 hours. The law of numbers works in your favor when you know in advance that someone needs and wants what you're selling. Once you're connected, it only takes a few questions to move someone through the qualifying process. When you ask the right questions, you'll make more sales faster. Now, many of the prospecting and recruiting strategies I invented with the formula years ago are still being successfully used today on every social network. When I wrote the book, Make the Internet Your Warm Market, back in 2005, Facebook had started the year before they owned I only had two lines in the book about it. Two years later, they became a real powerhouse. Four years later, they literally grew so fast, they sucked the life out of my space. Your social network is your digital warm market. Live chatting is the fastest way and the simplest way to sell things. It's the easiest way for you to make money. But having access to all these people means nothing if you're not talking to the right people. So remember this. You're not trying to make a sale when you talk to people. You're trying to determine if there's an opportunity for you to make a sale. So if you know who you're looking for, it's easy to locate perfect prospects for your business. You pick, you choose. Facebook and LinkedIn are like Aladdin's lamp, okay? You just rub it, indicate what you're looking for, and you got all kinds of perfect prospects at your fingertips. It's easy to find power prospects that fit the exact demographics of who you're looking for. You pick, you choose. It's your call, and it only takes minutes a day. Now, when it comes to looking for people you don't know, the keyword search is going to be your favorite tool. They've got it on Facebook, they've got it on LinkedIn, but the searches on Facebook aren't working all that well. But they still work. You have to filter down through the huge population of people. Facebook's new searching icon is the blue circle with the silhouette of the man and the woman. And the searching features, unfortunately, work sporadically. The keyword searches are changing. And so when you do a keyword search, you must search in particular order or you get nothing. People over 50 years old who like Jim Rohn, you're going to get search results. Men over 50 who live in Dallas and like Jim Rohn, you're going to get nothing. Yet, you could do a search for men over 50 who like Jim Rohn and live in Dallas, and you're going to get hundreds of people. People in Las Vegas. People live in Orlando. People live in Hong Kong. You look at the picture. You look at the basic information that they share. It takes you 30 seconds to look at their profile and identify it. Are these people you want to talk to? People live in England. People live in London, in the United Kingdom. You have to search specifically with key words in a sequence of words. Otherwise, you get nothing. About six months ago, I was doing a coaching session with Fred Holmes, who's one of the top earners in his business. So in advance, I went on and I did a search for women who like Tony Robbins and live in Chatsworth, California had hundreds of people. And if I wanted to connect with them, I could just click on the add a friend button. So 30 minutes after I did this search, I logged into Fred's account, did the exact same search, and got totally different results. Totally different results. What was interesting is instead of add a friend, he had connect. So there are changes that are taking place on these social networks all the time. The all new LinkedIn keyword search is fabulous. Now, if you were using LinkedIn before, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's still fabulous. You type the keyword in the search window and you will bring up all kinds of professionals by keyword. So we did a search for fitness. People were into fitness. You got 5.588 million people. Well, you could filter that down. Pick a country, the United States. Pick a city, greater New York. This is easy. But by lumping people into that greater New York area, you, you lose out on, show me all the people in Manhattan. Show me all, all the people in Brooklyn. A lot of people don't like that. Fitness in, or, in Las Vegas. 2,200 22,840. 
in the United Kingdom, people into fitness, 471,000 people. In the United Kingdom, in London, 76,400 people into fitness. In Hong Kong, 9,059. People all around the world are available for you to connect with. Now, here's the interesting thing. When you do a search, now you can create a search alert. And so on a weekly basis, if you did a search for fitness instructors in London, keep in mind that every second two people are joining LinkedIn, every week they're going to send you an update with all of the new people that fall into the category of what you just searched for. Let's talk about communication. Private messages to and from strangers are now delivered on Facebook. So you reach out to someone you don't know, and you can see in the left column the little red number, the, the white number one, highlighted in red. You write to everybody, they get the message, and Facebook broadcasts it. They put it up there so that you can see it. This new messaging feature is hooked up to their live messenger, and it's fabulous. When someone sends you a message that you don't know, you can either ignore it or accept it. If you accept it, that starts the communication part. Doesn't mean that you're their friend. It just means once they accept you, you can communicate and private message someone you don't know. They timestamp everything so that you can see how active someone is. They'll let you customize how your messages go out to people and while you're in the message center, you can click on the link of the person and bring up their profile. But this is the newest hot feature. If you look over there in that left column, you can see all of the people. If you can see their little their picture there, it means they are online right now. You can send them a message. You know they're there. It's like the old AOL buddy list when you can see your friends who are online. There is a movement on Facebook to push everybody to get their phone out. New emoticons. Give people an opportunity to express emotion without saying a lot. So you got like, you got love. This is the new one. Some of you have it, some of you don't. I'm thankful. Laughing, wow, I'm sad, I'm angry. All forms of communicating with somebody. I mean, you could literally, on a daily basis, go out and like or love something that five or six people do every day, and that's the start of a friendship. When you're typing in your, on your profile a message or a text message, when you type in your message now, some of you have the ability to colorize it. Some of you do, some of you don't. I don't have it yet. You colorize it, you push the button, and it just gives it new dimension, makes it more visible on your timeline page. Again, people can like it, comment, and share it. And whatever you do, whether you're reacting to someone that you know as a result of their reaction to your posts, or you react to someone that you don't know as a result of what you see them do, it's all about engagement. It's all about talking to people. Now let's jump over to LinkedIn and hold on to your hats. See, LinkedIn has a whole new desktop design. It's driving some people crazy. Hey, for if we go back the last 45 days, uh, for at least 25 days, it was driving us crazy. LinkedIn is now encouraging connection between strangers like never before. LinkedIn used to be a professional network. It was almost like a repository for resumes. You put your resume up there, and they had a simple, easy way to communicate, but things didn't happen fast. Well, now they happen fast. LinkedIn is making it easier to talk to your connections with your live chat feature. So you make a post and people react and they respond almost immediately. Your LinkedIn toolbox has all kinds of tools available for you to communicate with people, but it's the live chat and private messages that are really making a difference. And new red receipts and typing indicators show you when the person you've written to has read it, shows you when the person that read it is typing back. Now, in the messaging area, when you connect with someone new, 
what LinkedIn is doing now is in the messaging area, they're now telling you these people are new connections. So you don't have to, you don't have to go and look to see who your new friends are. You don't have to check in different places. It's all right here in the messaging system. And that box that's up there on the right, that's your live chatting feature. So whether you're logged into the messaging center or you just see them pop up in your messaging area, they're telling you these people have just become your new connection. LinkedIn is making it easier than ever before for people to create a profile. They literally put the boxes in front of you, just fill in the blanks. They'll even help you write the summary explaining who you are. They are pushing, like I've never seen before, communication between people. When you log in, they're going to tell you the people that you're connected to, who has the most profile views, who has the most conversations. 500 million. They're proud of it and they're shooting for six. You log in and again, you log into your message area, they're going to say, look, look at these people, talk to these people. They've got a new photo filter, which again, makes it easy for you to take a selfie and turn it into a professional picture. You put your picture up there, you can, if the picture is crooked, you could change it. And then you could literally touch it up, turn a selfie into a professional looking picture. Fill in the blanks and you're good to go. Now, one of the biggest problems that LinkedIn used to have is that you could never tell how active somebody was. I mean, it was a profile. It was a, a resume. <clears throat> so you look at the resume and you had no idea how active they were. Not anymore. Now you look at somebody's profile. The first thing you see below that first box are the highlights. What connections do you have with the other person? Maybe you have mutual connections. Maybe you're in mutual groups. Then you scroll down to the next part and it's their activity. They show you what the other people are doing. They put it right there in your face. In your face, they make it easy. So it's easy to identify how active people are. And over on the right, you're going to see suggestions of people who have looked at that profile giving you another opportunity to talk to people. You can see the articles, you can see the posts, you can see all of their activities so that you know who are the people that you want to talk to. In the center, you could like, comment, and share things. You get people's attention. So whether it's reacting to their articles, reacting to their posts, or just looking at all of their activity, you know who these people are, you know how active they are. Now, the LinkedIn keyword search is outrageous. About eight years ago, Marty Weworker was looking for college students and I showed him how to find them on LinkedIn. He connects with Alex Morton, who was uh, a college student at Arizona State University. And five years later, Alex was a million dollar earner in his business. Well, how do you do that? Well, you search for people, Arizona State, Right now, there's 320,000 Arizona State alumni. And it breaks down it breaks down who these people are by what they do. So you got 27,000 people that are in sales. You got 24,000 that are interested in entrepreneurship and you can see where they work. Now, you go over here and you do some filtering. You say, I wanna see the people that went to school between 2011 and 2015. They've been out of work for I mean, they've been out of school for two years. And again, you can see the salespeople. You can see where they work. There's 24,000 people that are involved in entrepreneurship. And again, you can see where they work. You can see what they do. And the profiles that come up are as detailed as you're going to find on Facebook. Searching for salespeople, 39 million, almost 40 million. Search for salespeople in the United States, 17, almost 18 million. Salespeople in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, 498,000. Salespeople in the oh, fitness in the UK, we did that one already. Again, once you make the search, once you make the search, 
you're now able to get follow-ups. About two weeks ago, we uh, came across a study that showed you 10 occupations that have high burnout rates. I'm just going to run through them really quickly. Doctors, physicians, and we got a little script, found this article that says physicians and nurses are one and two on the list of professions with high burnout rates. How have you managed to avoid burnout? And look at all the categories of doctors that you could rea- re- reach out to and respond to. Pick them local, pick them in a city or a country where you're going to expand your business. How about nurses? Same thing. Unlimited access choices of people to talk to. Social workers. Teachers. 6.4 million teachers. High burnout rate. School principals. Attorneys. Police officers. Public accountants, fast food, and retail. And talking about retail, uh, it was announced today that uh, Sears is closing literally hundreds of stores. They're going out of business. So you can go on Facebook, find people that work for Sears. You can go on LinkedIn, you can find people who work for Sears. When you're working on LinkedIn, you're going to use what we call the LinkedIn icebreaker. Which basically, the first thing you say to somebody is, how long have you been on LinkedIn? How's it working for you? That's going to enable you to talk to more people. Let me give you a quick tour of the new LinkedIn page. you got the search window up there. That's your network. That's where you can see who you're connected to and who wants to be connected to you. I've got four people that want to be my friend. Messages, top and bottom. This is huge. Notifications. Notifications on LinkedIn are huge. They're making it easier for you to know what people are doing. And finally, your ability to adjust your profile. This is where you post things and this is where you upload pictures. You could identify or you could sort and specify what you want to see on your newsfeed. They timestamp everything. Here's another new feature for Facebook, for LinkedIn. You can see who's viewed your profile, start a conversation. See who's viewed your articles, start a conversation. What you post, what you do, again, can likes, comments, and shares. They have taken over 38 Facebook features and they've added them to LinkedIn for a reason. They want to keep you on LinkedIn. Over here on the right, this is your messaging feature. It's connected to the messaging feature up at the top. So no matter where you are on LinkedIn, at any time, you don't have to go up to the messaging feature to read your messages. You got them right there. You click on somebody's name, it brings up a little window. You can see when they've read it. And you can send them a picture, you can send them a file. So how fast do people react? I sent a message to Deborah. Can you keep a secret? I sent it at 8.38, she wrote back in a minute. Whatever you do, whatever you post, people can like it, comment, or share. And so the big news for LinkedIn today is the messaging feature up at the top is connected to that messaging feature down at the bottom. And when you click on it, it opens up and you have an opportunity to write to all kinds of people. This is just like Facebook, including the ability to send pictures. Something new that LinkedIn has done is they now let you indicate your live chat features and your birthdays. So you can immediately begin talking to your existing LinkedIn connections by checking your notifications. See who's celebrating a birthday, who's viewed your profile, who's liked your post, who has a work anniversary. And we've got scripts to start the conversation rolling. Doesn't matter what they've done. There's fast and easy ways for you to reach out, start a conversation with people you don't even know. Mark met Jan. They had, it took two days from the initial contact to signing her up in the business. Now, as you begin talking to everyone, you want to know the answers to the following three or four questions. What do you do? How long have you been doing it? What did you do before? And what prompted you to change from being a personal trainer 
to a school teacher or whatever it was. The answer to these questions alone will often reveal if they're a prospect for your business or have a problem that you can help them solve. By asking questions, you can learn. Is there a problem that can be solved by working with you? Do they have a need for your products? Do they currently use similar products? Are they interested in making more money? And as you go through this process, remember social networking law number three. Don't focus on making a sale. When you're talking to people, focus on whether there's a sale to be made. The key to avoiding rejection is to never talk about your business until you've learned that they need or want what you're selling. The keyword search is going to be your favorite tool and you have unlimited access to people. And once you learn this, once you learn this, you're golden forever. Marty learned this two years ago. He's still signing up people at will. So we've got messages and notifications. Facebook and LinkedIn has them both. On Facebook, we're going to give you four actions that you could take. Change your cover, change your picture, make a post. Wish somebody a happy birthday. That will get you talking to people right away. On LinkedIn, change the date of something. It's going to get you notifications. Add a new job. Indicate a job anniversary. Change your location or wish somebody a happy birthday. On Facebook, you let your friends know what you've been up to. On Facebook, you can see on the left from your message center who you can talk to. And on the right from your homepage, you can see who's online. On LinkedIn, you create your own notifications. And we just went over these. There's no shortage of people for you to talk to. So you have access to 2 billion people, but it means nothing if you're not talking to the right ones. So let me give you a little tip on online communication. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. You can go from hello to welcome aboard by asking a few casual questions like, what do you do? What does that entail? How long have you been doing it? What did you do before? How do you like what you're doing? And you just follow some scripts until you sign them up in the business. Last week, Terry, who is building a business uh, on Facebook, heard from an old friend of hers that she hadn't talked to in a number of years. They went to school together. Says, I'd like to know more about what you do. Please keep in mind, my ex and I went Quicksilver with Amway 20 years ago, but I'm not really in that place anymore. And there does seem to be quite a few people selling health stuff on the internet. So what makes your product different and better? She writes back right away, hey, I could go on about it, but I type with two fingers and two of them need spell check. Let's talk. They talked on the telephone. She signed her up in the business. The biggest problem people have is they make mistakes and they deviate from the scripts. When you start talking about kids and where they went to school and you start talking about pets and these other things, you're off course and that can kill the conversation. Or it doesn't kill the conversation, but it kills the direction of the conversation. Stick to the scripts, focus on the other person, follow the money, follow their financial situation. And if the conversation stops, you've got dozens of ways to start it up again. In our December boot camp, I'm going to share a couple of more stories. Uh, in our December boot camp, Adrian uh, announced her first night she enrolled five people in her business. She was blown away. And all she did was talk and listen. Second night of boot camp, she's got six more. Her husband was speechless. And by the end of boot camp, in two weeks, she had 72 people in her business. So remember, it's not what works, it's what duplicates. This duplicates. Howard, building a business from Alabama, built an international company in 18 countries as his company was expanding and he never left Alabama. He connected with pastors and ministers and real estate people and network marketers in other countries who were excited about the opportunity to connect with people in a company that was coming into their country. 11 months after he started, he got his first six-figure check. His six-figure monthly check. The secret to making more sales is to talk to people. That's what it's all about. And all you need is a free Facebook profile page Starting right now, all you need is a free LinkedIn page. Starting right now, your profile page tells your story to the entire world. It's your platform to talk to everyone. It promotes and brands you, either who you are today or who you plan on becoming. And this is almost all you need. Almost all you need. A profile and conversation. 
After two coaching sessions, Shinette was the number, best recruiter in her group. Two months later, she's signing up people every day. Every day. May 7th, she's up to seven people. How long does it take? She can do it in less than an hour. You're all heading down the same exact road. Tom Martin makes a post. Here's from 20 people, speaks to 13 of them, signs up four. And it doesn't matter what you're selling. Eli was a network marketer and insurance adjuster. He was looking for clients. Post things that will attract your target market, as long as you know who your target market is. Engage the people who respond to what you're doing. And when you talk to enough of the right people, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Remember this, that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. All right. Now I'm going to skip through because we kind of I threw in a lot of other material and that I wanted you to see. So I'm going to run through. I don't want to. I'm not going to share these examples with you because we got thousands of them. Solomon here can um, get someone looking at his website in seven minutes. Seven minutes. By the end of the month, he'd signed up seven people in his business. Rob here, uh, in our first coaching session, we changed a picture on his page. The one thing that you can count on is immediate activity. Here's an old high school friend, got a new customer. Now his ideal customer, his ideal business builder is a fitness instructor. When you reach out to people, you want to connect with people that have large circles of influence. So he recruits an owner of a gym. Marissa connects with someone from high school, signs them up in the business. Joe Pereca reconnects with three high school kids. One junior high school kid. It's all about engagement. It's all about talking to people. We made a post on Rhonda's page and two days later she has five people signing up in her business. How did she grow so fast? Because her team jumped into our next boot camp. <clears throat> and I want to invite all of you to participate in our upcoming boot camp, which starts at, actually tomorrow night. We do a boot camp every month. Freddie Malero learned this back in 2008. Came over to my house, I gave him some training, and today he's a seven figure earner. So if you only talk about your business with the people that need and want what you're selling, you will never experience rejection. What you need to know about anyone is on your profile. Jason made a sale his first night of boot camp, three signups. Second week of boot camp is first on Wednesday night, four, on Thursday, three, and the following week he's got 10 more. And one year after boot camp, Rosie Gonzalez has 15,000 people in her business. So it's not about how many friends or followers you have. It's not about how many connections or followers you have on LinkedIn. And it's not about how many shares or likes or comments you have. It's about how many people you're talking to. It's about sales. It's about duplication. It's about growth. It's about retention. It's about income. Hey, it's about income. Ultimately, it's about results. Results are all that matter. Folks, there are three simple rules in life. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. And if you don't step forward, you'll always be in the same place. There is nothing holding you back from being successful but your own activity or your own lack of activity. And, you know, that is really, in a nutshell, uh, I threw a lot of information out at you. I recorded this. We're going to make it uh, available to, to Jimmy. He'll share it with members of his team. I've done this with leaders in other companies, and I've I had the pleasure of watching their organizations grow and their organizations thrive. For those of you that want to work with me, um, we have four different levels of training. I'm not going to get into them here. We have our Endless Free Leads program, which is our home study course. We have boot camps where we work with people live. We have two day top earner retreats. We do them once a quarter. And there's personal coaching that's available for everybody as well. Unfortunately, I can only work with uh, 30 to 35 people a month in coaching. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Jimmy, to working with mem you and members of your team. I've enjoyed 
uh, you know, working with Jimmy one on one. And uh, I see uh, we got another Jim here. Jim, I see you signed up for coaching, so I'm looking forward to, you know, working with you. The whole environment has changed. The world has changed. And at the end of the day, if you're not talking to people, it's a shame. Because the truth is, there's no reason why you can't be talking to people and making sales each and every day. There is no faster, there is no easier way to do this. And all you need is a Facebook page, all you need is a LinkedIn page, and you can be talking to people at will. Um, normally, at this point in time, I open up the question, I open up the, um, the question box, and I'm here to answer questions. Uh, but we kind of, you know, we, we've been going about 50 minutes, and I threw a lot of information out at you. We're going to have, uh, I recorded this, we're going to make it available to Jimmy. And if there's anything that I can do to help you, just uh, you know, contact Jimmy or contact us, and uh, we'll be happy to do that. So until next time, uh, best of luck in building your business, and uh, God bless. Thank you.